welcome back to the channel. Uh, in, today we're going to go over how to install the TRZ manual brake master cylinder kit, I guess you could say. Uh, so behind me, or now in front of me, I have it all kind of laid out. I spared you guys the unboxing because although it was boxed well, there's nothing really all that exciting about that. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> Here we have the strange brake master cylinder, uh, the fittings, the adapter plate itself, and the adjustable rod that hooks to your pedal. All that comes in the kit when you buy it from TRZ. Uh, and then I just have some of the tools that I'm gonna use to uh, install it. So I have a 12 inch 3 inch drive extension, a 3 8 uh, wobble socket, a 9 16 shallow socket, a half inch drive, uh, deep socket, a 3 16 and a 7 seconds Allen key, and I have a little bit of Loctite because the bolts that bolt to the master cylinder over here are threaded. So you bolt the master cylinder down like this, these are threaded into the plate, um, and I chose to Loctite them into the plate because I don't want them to back out or give me any problems. So even though that these nuts are lock nuts, the lock nuts hold the master cylinder onto the plate. But then like I said, the plate is threaded to accept that. So I don't want those to go anywhere ever because it'll make, you'd have to take this whole plate off if these loosened up to change the master cylinder and I want to try to avoid that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and assemble this. So let's, uh, let's get busy. Try to give you guys an up close and personal. Uh, like I said, make sure your your rubber boots installed, and we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you what I meant by loctiting this bolt because the kit comes with two. One's already done, just to kind of give you guys a frame of reference. And don't get any loctite on the on the on the end of this bolt because you don't want that. You want the loctite to be back here. So I put some red loctite on it because hopefully I don't ever want to take this back apart. At least not while I am in the car. Get it started. We're going to use our 3 16 Get it threaded in. Get her cranked up. You have to go crazy. Tight's tight, too tight's broken. Okay, so now we got that installed. Make sure this boot, I don't remember if this boot comes on it or not, but it just slides right on. Like so. Get it. Slide the whole thing together. And then take the washers and lock nuts and install them. This is the part where we're going to use our half inch socket here. I'm going to take the adapter fittings out just so I can make this easier on myself. Again, you don't have to have an impact gun, I'm just using it because I have it. I'm going to use this extension. You don't need this, you can use an open end wrench, anything that is half inch dry, or half. Like I said, don't go crazy, because they're lock nuts. So anyway, that's that's how we put the master cylinder on the plate. Okay, all tightened up. Let's screw our fittings in there just to keep track of them, because we don't want to lose them. Now, I'm going to screw this rod in. I don't know exactly where it's going to go, but I'm going to try to get it at least to the halfway point. So, that right there. We'll have to adjust this once we get it in the car. Okay. 
that's a little past halfway. So now uh, for this part, if I had one complaint about this kit, this would be it, is that these, these bolts are not captured in any way. They're not threaded. They're, you know, the S's are replaceable if something happens to them, but this, this part of the install requires two people because you need somebody on the outside holding the 732nd Allen key into the bolt here and then somebody under the dash to tighten out, tighten up these uh, 916s ones here. So uh, anyway, we're going to cut here and I'm going to slide this into the car. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. We're going to take all this loose and uh, I'll take you over to the car and we'll shove it in there. What do you think? Just since this is a how to install, we will install it together. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just threading this bolt in my hand. This uh, this pattern in the firewall is pretty tight, so. Anyway. Anyway, so that's that. That's that part. That's that's it just sitting there. So I'm going to get somebody to help me, and all we're going to do is tighten these four nuts up. Uh, if you watch my uh, removal video. Um, you know where the nuts are. So we're going to cut here. I'm going to get somebody to help me tighten these up and then uh, we'll dive under the dash and set up the, uh, the pedal adjustment. Okay. Valuable lesson. Make sure you test fit your parts before you put them together. Now I seriously doubt that TRZ makes these without checking fitment but they can't check fitment on every car so I'm not going to blame them for this I really don't think this is their fault but because my car is a 98 so maybe that makes sense to some you know maybe they tested something that was on a 2001 or whatever you would think they'd all be the same but let me get to this this right here this is the part that attaches your pedal make sure when you're installing this stuff make sure this pin fits inside of here Mine didn't. Well, I put all this together, and then only the, the end of this would go in. It would only go in like this. So that was my fault. I should have checked it. I had to drill this bracket. Uh, this is 7 16 That's the size hole you need. So I'm going to put this back in, just like we planned on before. Sort of, if I can get my camera skills up to date. So I have this adjusted all the way in now just because I was messing with it. So anyway, this is a good a good time to note it note that you can service this. So I'm glad I put Loctite on those bolts just in case. Because I, I needed it this time. Because I would have been very upset if I had to take this all the way back apart. Because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, getting to those four bolts on the inside of the car is kind of a pain. So I'm going to dive under the dash real quick, put this pin in, make sure this is all lined up before I tighten this up for the last thing. I'm going to take you guys under there because it's tight. It's real tight under there. And my pedal's down, that's why my brake lights are on. Oh. Psych, forgot the flashlight. Hold on a second. Hopefully you guys can see that. Adjust this. 
until you get to the brake pedal because this is really for brake pedal height adjustment uh, make sure yours is where you like it or you know don't bottom it out on the switch you know make sure you know you try to get it either level with the accelerator or uh, you know whatever height you like it but just remember to make sure it makes contact with your brake switch so and then get two get two wrenches to tighten these up slide your clip on the end here and uh, that's it All right, guys. So, hopefully you saw that. That's essentially, you know, how you uh, install one of the TRZ manual brake master cylinder kit. So, we'll see how good or not good this is when I, or not when I. I don't do any of the editing. My wife does. Uh, Tighten these up here on the outside. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the end of it. So it's not real hard. Uh, you're going to have to make your own. Like I said before, you have to make your own custom fittings to do whatever you got to do. Uh, but as far as the physical install, that's it. This is what it looks like. All installed. In the car, and you see, you have tons of room here now. This is, if if for nothing else, this is a big win on just for that alone. So, thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody. I know it was a little all over the place, but that, the hole in that thing was it really threw me for a loop. And then uh, you just getting those four bolts in for the plate. Uh, make sure you bring. Make sure you take this job on. When you have all of your patients and you have somebody to help you because it gets frustrating trying to do it by yourself. I did get some help, somebody to hold the bolts from the outside with that, uh, that Allen key, but, uh, yeah, thank you. And I'll see you soon.